Monday, back squats. Uh, set of five, set of four, two sets of three, two sets of two, and then a set of one. All right, so again, the theme, high rep down to low rep. All right, so five, four, three, two, one. See what we have today. Might be a PR, might be something heavy, might be something we haven't lifted in a while. That's awesome. But back squats. Workout that day, three rounds. For inside, we have 10 strict pull-ups. So strict guys today. Uh, a 400 meter run and then seven squat snatches at a moderate load, 135 for the guys, 95 for the ladies. It should probably just be singles throughout. Um, and then for outside, we have the barbell bent over rows with that heavy weight on the, on the bar because we're only looking at 10. And since inside is doing strict, I want these barbell bent over rows to be pretty, uh, pretty challenging. All right, so three rounds, 10 strict pull-ups, 400 meter run, seven squat snatches there. Tuesday, every four minutes for 24 minutes, you'll complete 15 burpees and then max calories on a machine or a 100 meter shuttle. All right, so that's technically our recharge day. It's still gonna be challenging, but a long cardio conditioning piece there. Maybe we'll finish up with some extra core work um, or mobility on that day too. Wednesday, quality time. Um, we're gonna be working in EMOM fashion. Again, kind of like old school bodybuilding stuff, just slowing it down. Uh, minute one will be box dips or dips of some sort. Minute two will be single arm dumbbell bent over rows. And minute three will be single arm dumbbell strict press. So working some single arm stuff there um, in an EMOM fashion for our skill that day. And then on, on Wednesday, the same day, the, the workout, five rounds, uh, five bar muscle ups, five chest to bar, five pull ups, wherever it might be. Seven thrusters, nine single dumbbell box step ups. Um, 13 minute cap on that one. So low rep, um, just trying to move through that at a good consistent pace on that. So Thursday, we got the overhead squat day. Um, we're gonna be doing three rounds, <clears throat> three percentages. So you'll put 65% of your overhead squat on the first bar. You'll do as many reps as possible in three minutes. You'll then rest three minutes during that three minute rest. You'll put 75% on your bar. You'll do three minutes again. You'll rest three minutes and then your last set is gonna be at 85% um, of, of three three minute AMRAP wrap uh, with a three minute rest to finish it. All right, so three sets, again, overhead squat endurance, overhead squat strength, um, based on your specific numbers there. Uh, and then that day we'll, we'll be having a pretty fun partner workout um, that has to do with uh, dumbbell snatches and double unders that day. All right, so it should be a fun one. Friday, clean and jerk. We'll do a squat clean plus two jerks. So a little bit of a barbell complex. Haven't done many complexes in a long time. Um, you could consider this a complex because it has two jerks instead of one. So we have one squat clean plus two jerks. The jerks can be anyhow. You can push jerk it or you can split jerk it. Uh, work to your strength that day. If you're a better split jerker, split jerk. If you're better at push jerking, push jerk. But um, we'll see what we have. And then on Friday, every three minutes for 15 minutes, you'll complete 12 overhead plate lunges, 30 shoulder taps, and 10 hang power cleans at a pretty challenging weight. Uh, 155, 105. I want this to feel heavy, but can hang on to all 10 of those, being that it's from the hang position. Um, once you finish that, however long that takes you, say it takes you two minutes, you'll rest a minute, right? You should be looking to get about a minute rest in each of those intervals, all right? So you're going the zero, the three, the six, the nine, the 12. It's five rounds. Then on Saturday, is going to be a fun deadlift day. Um, that basically, you'll be recording a heavy single. Um, but you will be doing some work before that, up to that single um, percentage work, I should say. Um, so you'll see when that comes around, it'll be a fun one. Um, and then the workout that day for time. So another chipper, love chippers. Um, and I, I get a feeling that you guys like chippers as well. Uh, so we'll go for time. We have a 400 meter run. You'll come back. We got 60 wall balls, 50 box jumps, 40 toe to bar, 30 shoulder to overhead at 135.95. So it's gonna be a challenging bar on the shoulder to overheads and then a 400 meter run to end it, all right? Outside, we'll again have some type of fashion, either that be 60 thrusters with the empty bar, uh, kettlebell swings, V-ups, shoulder to overhead, and run. Um, but again, that wraps up the week all the way to Saturday, October 3rd. Um, again, if you, if you have any questions regarding anything, please don't hesitate to ask myself, ask Maddie, any of the coaches, um, as we continue to, uh, again, adapt to our current situation and just continue to learn and stay healthy and keep you guys in here as long as possible and keep you moving. So if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to let us know. 
and uh, we'll continue to have a good end of September, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.